So this is my um, biofuels project all ready to go for processing a tank of fuel. When I originally began to experiment with running an automobile on vegetable oil, I was uh, running my uh, recycled vegetable oil through three stages of big blue uh, filters, and they are designed primarily for water, but I could run vegetable oil through them without difficulty, but, uh, you know, it would, uh, the, see, the filters were 50 micron, 20 micron, and 5 micron back then, and uh, I could only run about 50 gallons of, or I'm sorry, only run about 15 gallons of vegetable oil through them before they were almost completely plugged, but because um, pleated cellulose filters can handle a 20 psi pressure drop across them, then I uh, simply boosted up the pressure of my fluid stream so that I could squeeze out that remaining 30 gallons, which was what my fuel tank holds. Oh, well, that ran just fine, but then I discovered that uh, uh, even after filtering the vegetable oil, the used vegetable oil, and then putting it into my fuel tank and then adding gasoline on top of it, that was my original method. Turns out, though, that, uh, that there are contaminants that are dissolved in that uh, vegetable oil that will pass right through the filters, and it, and it has to, didn't have to do with the micron range. It had to do with the fact that uh, that uh, that there was a certain amount of water dissolved in that vegetable oil, and there were lacquers dissolved in that vegetable oil that would pass because they're fluids. They'd pass right through the uh, membrane of the filter cartridge. <clears throat> so then I'd filter it into the fuel tank. But then I'd add, and then I would add gasoline. That was my solution. And that, and the reason why I did that is I wanted to reduce the exposure to uh, gasoline, which is a toxin. So uh, I'd filter the oil into my uh, fuel tank, and then I'd just drive up to a gas station and uh, fill up with, um, you know, maybe uh, three to six gallons of gasoline. And bingo, I thought that was an easy solution. But well, then I did that experiment in a glass jar to see what would happen, and I found that there was a precipitate that would settle out to the bottom of the jar. And then I collected that precipitate and, and found out that it would that it dried like glue, and that's when I realized it was lacquer. <clears throat> and lacquer is not soluble in petroleum distillates, but it is distil uh, uh, soluble in vegetable oil and water. Okay, so. And then I just started uh, blending the gasoline first in my processing tank here. Uh, so I would put, let's say, four gallons of gasoline into the processing tank and 16 gallons of uh, vegetable oil in this 20-gallon processing tank or 80-liter processing tank. And, <coughs> and then I'd let it sit for at least an hour, if not a day, and that would allow the lacquers to precipitate out, and then I'd drain them off the bottom of the tank with uh, the valve. That worked really good, except for one thing. <laughs> the gasoline in the wintertime in Arizona has a fair amount of alcohol added to it, and that alcohol was dissolving my uh, canister filters. And I'll show you what that looks like. So this is a canister that was back flushed with gasoline and the gasoline basically dissolved it, uh, the seal at the bottom. You can see is buckled on the canister. And that caused the uh, destruction of the filter. Uh, and the same kind of thing happened with the uh, other filter canisters. You can also see that um, the canisters were also fogged, and that fogging had to, was caused by the alcohol and the gasoline. This has caused me to, uh, oh, by the way, and you can see the blue seal on the bottom of this canister indicates that it's a Type R canister, and the Type R canister is designed 
for a wide range of solvents, which I thought would be fine, except the solvents it doesn't handle is alcohol. <laughs> and so uh, I've had to conclude that I cannot use uh, uh, cartridge filters anymore, but I'm going to have to use bag filters. And I'm in the process of trying to see if I can modify my canister, my cartridge canisters, to, to hold a bag filter. We'll see. When I began to blend gasoline with vegetable oil before filtration, I discovered another beautiful feature of doing the before filter blend. And that is, is not only does the gasoline force out of solution uh, contaminants such as lacquer and water, uh, but it also, in the process of thinning that, the vegetable oil, it causes most of the particulate, let's say 90 to 99 percent of the particulate, will settle out within about an hour to a day. Uh, so it was saving my filters. So f I went from, you know, from barely squeezing 30 gallons through three uh, 10 inch big blue filters to barely using up the capacity of those three big blue filters, uh, you know, with uh, filtration, with filtering 30 gallons of, of uh, vegetable oil. So that means that even though bag filters have much less surface area uh, than canister filters, uh, I might be able to get away uh, with that reduced surface area uh, because blending the gasoline with the vegetable oil before filtration reduces the particle count so much that you know I should be able to use those filters, those uh, bag filters, without having to increase the size of my canisters. Thank you.